Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to install Windows 11 on a USB stick. On an unsupported, uh, unsupported computer. Older computers. Okay. Now, first thing you have to do, you have to buy a stick or two sticks. You need a 15 gig. I mean, I'm not sorry, not 15 gig. You need a 128 gig or 64. 132, it would just barely fit. I have it now installed on a 32 gig. It fits, but I got about almost 6 gigs free. So a 64 and a 128, it would probably be fine. Better, well, fine. It would be better. Okay, and and, and the, the the sum of the 128 is actually the read and write is faster. Okay, this one is write speed is 100. This one is write speed is 40 up to 90 and 40 so the right is 90 the the read is 90 sorry the read is 90 and the right is 40 so uh, it's up to you if you want a little bit faster you know go to the last one here it's going to be 1921 okay it's going to be up to you it, it all depends but either one, okay, or either three, for to install the OS, and then you get another one, uh, eight gigs, for the uh, bootable media is fine. If you get a sixteen gig, well, yeah, that's fine. It's okay. It doesn't matter as long as you have a eight gig USB, okay. So that's it. Now, for to um, you also need to download Rufus R U F U S. I already got it download. Well, actually, I'll show you. You look for Rufus. Go to Rufus download. Whoops, all oh, that up in here. Rufus download. Scroll down. You download the Rufus four point three portable. Good 64 bit. Okay, I already have it. I just want to show you where you go and get it. Download, save it to your external hard drive if it's possible. You, you do that type of stuff, you need a external hard drive or extra hard drive, whatever. I have it on in a folder here under Windows. And you need also to download the Windows 11 23H2 file. Okay, so I already have it download. Just type in Windows 11 download ISO. You'll find it on Google. Okay, I already have it download. Now you go ahead and start Rufus. Rufus will start. Now what you have to do, it's, uh, and I already have a uh, USB plugged in. That's the one I have plugged in. Okay, and that one, that one is 16 gig. So 16 gig, 8 gig is good. Okay, now you have to select the 
I saw. Okay, so in here in here I have uh, B23. I have too many in here. How come? What did I choose here? Select. Oh, that's a 22. Okay. I go back. 23. Windows. Download. That's, that's the 20. Windows 11, 23 H2. That's the one. Okay, so you this open. Okay, that's the ISO. Okay, now what you want to do also. Okay, you got two choice in here: standard window installation. That's on your internal USB C drive. Okay. But if you want to do it on a USB, you have to choose Windows to go. Okay, and then you change that to if it's an older computer, older BIOS, you have to choose MBR. Okay, now you go and click Start. Now it's going to ask you what version that you're going to install on your USB. Me, I want to install a Windows 11 Pro. Click OK and the process is going to start to install on a USB flash drive. Okay, so that's it. Cancel, don't want to do it. I already have one installed. Okay, so close this. I'll show you what it looks like on a 32-bit. Okay, you lose a little bit on every hard drive has a hidden partition in there. That's a 32 gig, but it shows 28. So there's my files. Okay, I could boot to this hard drive, but I got about 6 gigs left on this USB. Okay, I use that just to check, let's say, a program that I want to use to see if it's it runs or something like that. Okay. Or I could plug it on another computer if I wish. You know, I could plug it on this computer or it's better if you just use it on your computer it doesn't have to uh, reset everything but uh, I believe it does run on any computer it's almost like your 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 operating system on the go like on your pocket sort of nice you know, if you want to use that sort of thing anyways that's it that's all you oh I want to show you also sorry to uh, on, on, on a um, oh Jesus if you want to do a just an install on your hard drive okay again I go to Rufus and your standard select like the ISO okay this time you're gonna do a standard for a standard Windows installation on the MBR, that's the old bias. Now you click start. 
is going to give you all those uh, custom window installation. You want to check remove requirement for 4, four gigs RAM secure boot and TPM. Okay, removes that. Remove requirement for a online Microsoft account. Very handy. You know, you don't have to create one. And now you want to create a local account with a username. You want to okay. And you want to set regional option to the same value as the user. Disable data collection, skip privacy question, disable BitLocker automatic device encryption, and click OK. Alright, so then it's going to start burning it, and you'll be able to install on all the computers. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that helps you. Bye now.